what is up everybody it's your boy field mouse and today i'm going to be showing y'all the perfect way to get rid of stress and all that built up anger that you get inside of you after getting your ass whoop match after match after match and this is a perfect way to do it it works i do it personally and i have to say it it does help a ton um, first, I want to say to the new viewers to the channel, thank you for subscribing. I hope you enjoy the videos. I will have plenty more coming. Um, let's get into this. Basically, what I do is you go into the local play option and create your own match. You can, you know, set it up to where you, the game mode is the exact same as if you were to, you know, go into multiplayer and and play it that way or you can change you know the score limit or the time limit or the health or you know you can basically change nearly everything about the game mode you know except the game mode itself I guess you would say like you can't put you know like four or five flags in domination it's still gonna be three flags but you can change all kinds of things about it and this is what makes it really fun is you can set it to your liking and you can have a lot of fun with it. Like me, when I do it, I will put on probably about two or three teammates uh, depending on the difficulty of the, of the bots. And you can change the difficulty, easy, medium, hard. And I think there might be one more difficulty level and it's like where they're like beasting on you and it's really hard but it's challenging so... You know, if you're looking for that kind of challenge and wanting to do that, then that's perfect for you. But I usually put on about 14 enemy bots, and I'll put them, you know, on easy on some maps. Then I'll, like, you know, take the bots down and put them on regular or medium difficulty, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a lot of fun. You can use this to work on strategies for you know IMS's sentry guns uh, you know anything you can test the waters you can see if this sentry gun will work here or if this IMS will work in this you know corner or you know something like that and you know I'm gonna make a video soon on IMS's because a lot of people will put them down and they'll just leave them and that's that's a no-no they'll get destroyed very quick and I'm gonna be making a video soon about that and it's a killer tip and hopefully it'll help y'all y'all take it to the game with y'all and use it um, you can also use this uh, you know strategy or you know playing this local play game you can do you can use guns that you wouldn't normally use like right here I would not and I repeat I would not put an ACOG scope on a light machine gun really I wouldn't put it on anything I don't like a coloscopes I think they're pretty wretched and on a light machine gun it is god awful it's terrible I don't know why you would put it on one but you know I picked that one up just for the little challenge thing or whatever um but it, it makes it a lot of fun when you do this it makes it tons of fun when you put them on easy and you put you know 14 or 15 enemies and it just boosts your confidence it gets you back in the zone you get on these you know good going kill streaks and if you're not you know very good at the game which there's some people out there that's not you know as good as others it'll it'll really get your confidence up and it'll motivate you to you know want to get better and like me I've never gotten a chem strike legitly you know, I've never, never got 24 kills, you know, in a row on Ghost. And, you know, I get them in these little local matches, which it's nothing big, but it, it'll get your, you know, confidence going and, you know, get you in your zone. But another thing that it will do is if in regular multiplayer you're not the type to run, you know, your higher kill streaks like your griffin your uh, maniac your juggernaut uh, loki i think it is on the assault streak i uh, could be wrong on that uh, but if you're not the one to run those higher kill streaks this will give you a chance to you know use them and now some situations in these local matches will be unreal because right here there's a dude standing here and 
multiplayer, he would have already killed me. Yeah, I mean, it's it it wouldn't have went down that way. But, you know, for the most part, it's pretty realistic depending on the difficulty that you put these bots on. If you put them on regular, it's it's pretty real, you know, if you were playing with other people online. It's, it's pretty amazing how close it is and, you know, how lifelike they are. But if you do this and you play around with guns and classes and attachments and perks you will be surprised you might end up finding something that you actually like this class that I'm using right here is the M14 with a silencer and burst fire and I actually really like it like I'm probably gonna take it back to multiplayer now the situations I was talking about just like this right here this you would not make it out of not with no M14 and burst fire you might make it out with a light machine gun or a submachine gun you know with a large uh you know uh magazine hell i couldn't think of the word um but yeah most of the situations aren't you know real i mean you'll run into like four or five dudes and you'll you'll kill them all you know regular multiplayer you're going down if you run into that many of them like it's you know some of them are you know unrealistic but you know mainly this is a way for me just to you know get rid of that built up anger that I got and you know relieve some stress and get me back in the zone and it really does work you can have tons of fun doing this and I promise you it's super fun me and my buddy Blaine one night on Black Ops 2 we set up just a local match and we were like you know calling in swarms and all this you know other high kill streaks and stuff and we ended up having like 200 and something kills but it was just fun doing it and you know it's mainly just for fun now right here I want to point out on octane put IEDs right where I throw it right here in between the ladder or, you know in line with the ladder it is crazy how many kills you will get putting it there because people most people when they run up to a ladder they will just sprint up to it and just you know hop up onto it and they'll die it's it's crazy this dude uh, did it to me and I died like a crazy amount of times and right here this is a nice little treat I put this IMS down and I get like you know four or five kills off of it it was crazy but the IEDs props to the dude who did this to me but he killed me in the same match like you know four times it was crazy but anyways i hope y'all enjoyed the video i'm gonna be having some more videos coming up soon catch y'all on my next video peace